November of 2020 is when I started my motherhood journey because that's the first month that I was pregnant. Since then, I thought of this today, I have either been pregnant or breastfeeding <laughs> every month except for two in that time span. To hear myself introduce myself as a TV host and an author, right? Um, I don't know, have I done anything else? Oh, you're reminding me, I was Miss Ohio 2011, so I compete at Miss America. I feel like that resume from before I was a mom is like so forgotten right now. And I text my sister last night, I was like, I feel like I'm treading water and it's not ending. Like, I just feel like, okay, do we get to the surface to take a break at any moment? Who you were before is not who you are anymore. Having our, our second child was much easier for me because I was already like packing ever like packing up the whole house just to leave for the day. It was just bringing another baby along. It is like a rediscovery of figuring out who you are. And you've, you realize, of course you all know this, you realize love in such a different way, in a different capacity. They sent us home from the hospital with our daughter. As you all know, there's no manual. There's no book on how to do this. and. When Sharon told me that this was about the magical mom moments, I someone said it up here, like, the tough moments are what came to mind. I'm leaving this job, I'm gonna speak for your event later. Uh, as I then start pumping, I've had a, a few bites of a sub sandwich, and I'm rushing home, and I, Reese was gonna pick up the kids that day, and I was like, I forgot I signed up to read, so I have to go. And I thought, later, maybe not in the moment. That was a magical mom moment. Yeah. Like, we are superheroes, and I see some memes today that's like, let's stop making moms be superheroes, but if I don't think of myself as a superhero, I don't know how I get through those moments. Mm -hmm. I was putting everything in the dishwasher after they, everybody was in bed, and at 9.30 realized we have no dishwashing soap. At the same time, my husband has gone out on his own this year, uh, is doing his entrepreneur thing. You can find him on YouTube, Reese Waters. Yay. And, um, his microphone broke down. We reconvened. We're like, well, this was our Valentine's night. That was fun. Good job. <laughs> that was our Valentine's day. But I think I will go back and look at that as another magical yes. mom moment. Yeah. He's on a streak, and I'm going to really regret saying this now. He slept three nights in a row overnight. Yeah. He's never done four, so tonight could be the night. <laughs> I sing to myself every night when I am feeding him that song. I think, who's it by? Trace Adkins. It's like, you're going to miss this. You're going to want this back. You're going to wish these days hadn't gone by so fast. And I hear from all of you that say, if I could just hold my son one more time when he's this little. Yeah. And so I look at him like, through like half open eyes. And I like really am trying to soak in the moment because I know this is one of those magical moments. And it hit me the other day. I'm like, you're never gonna be this little again. Like he, he's just, you know, he fits my arms so perfectly right now. But knowing that I have sustained him for six months also blows my mind. Yes. Like to, to be on that breastfeeding journey for the second time, knowing a little bit more of what I was doing. I'm the reason you're still alive. You know, like you carried him and now you're, you're doing it and you're putting in the work every day. I thought I would come here and tell you about a really magical moment I had with my daughter over the weekend. Um, Disney on Ice came through Baltimore. We said, let's take the whole family. She just went on like a whole weekend of no and I'll do it. And Friday night turned into Saturday and Saturday turned into Sunday where Sunday morning we had to sit her down and be like, okay, like, we're supposed to do this really fun thing today. Like trying to use whatever we can to try to get some sort of like, response from her, right? Because she's very much in her no phase. And there was just one moment, like an hour before we left, where it just went off the rails. <laughs> Gotta stay true to our word. And unfortunately, the lesson I've learned is if you really want to go, don't threaten the thing you really want to do. <laughs> because I really wanted to go, and I was like, no, we've been sitting her down and telling her, like, we're gonna do this special thing, but we need you to listen to us. Because it's safety things. Like, you know, to us, it's like, no, we don't, like, we just don't want you to get hurt. And to her, she's just hearing no. And it's taken a lot of conversations uh, for over the last few days um, between my husband and I of like, how would we have handled this differently? My husband had said over the holidays, this is like, this is it. This is what people talk about. Like we're living the dream. We're doing it like, th we're doing it. Mm -hmm. I told him that last night. He does not remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that
remember the holidays when you were like, this is it, we're living the dream. My show that I, I work on recently changed. Um, I was always doing a morning show, a 9 a.m. lifestyle show. We just moved the show to 3 p.m. Someone asked me from the audience, what was your favorite moment on the show so far? And I think she wanted a response about, or most memorable moments, what she said. I think she wanted a response about like, oh, when Snoop Dogg came in to be interviewed, or you know, one of the celebrities did the really fun things that we get to do. But in my head, I thought about the five years I've been on the show. I've carried both of my children, mm -hmm. and I've been on air like till the day before they were born. Uh, I met my husband at the station, so it's also oh. been like where we met. Like my life has happened uh, on this show, but there was one day in particular that is the most memorable. Uh, it's something I've actually never talked about. I'm a crier too, so I hope I don't cry. Uh, in the last three years, I've been pregnant three times. So if you do the math, we lost a child between our first and second. And when we found out when we were at the doctor's office, um, we just weren't hearing a heartbeat. So they sat us down and it had been far enough along that they were, of course, like really fast. They were like, oh no, if we don't hear a heartbeat and they moved on. My husband and I were a little angry and we were like, look again, can you look again? You know, we had already told our family, like we were really on the path of like, no, we're having this baby. So I was grateful in the end for the heads up because a couple days later I started bleeding. I was carrying our toddler down to the car to head out to work to do the lifestyle show in the morning. And I just felt like something, you know? And I was like, okay, we're gonna turn back around. And I went back inside the house. I got her entertained. You know, I set her down with something and realized that I had like pretty much just miscarried the entire baby just in our driveway. So I, you know, cleaned up and I grabbed my daughter and I was like, I don't know what to do other than go to work. So I went to work. I didn't realize how bad it would be after that. It wasn't like that was it and it was over and I moved on um, physically or mentally. But my most memorable moment is I, I went to work. I dropped off my daughter, I went to work. I went on to the set and we have this white couch, which I'll never forget a white couch in that moment. And I sat down and I was like, I, I don't know if I should even be sitting on this. Like I was starting to get really nervous and my co-host knew it was happening and she looked over at me when we were like 30 seconds from the show starting. And she said, you don't have to do this. And I looked at her, I was like, I don't know what else to do. Like, I don't know what else to do but to sit here and do my job and to keep showing up for my daughter, for our family, to keep moving forward. And as hard of a moment as that is to share and to remember, it's also one of those magical moments where I realize a strength that I never would have thought I had to show up every day for your kids, for your family. There's a lot of magic in that, and that's yes. what moms do all the time. The magic of motherhood is in those tough moments. Um, maybe the ones that aren't so fun in the moment, but the ones that you look back and you're like, wow, that was it. Like, yeah. we're living it, we're doing it.